Whether you're scrolling endlessly on social media or sending an important email for work, many of our daily lives revolve around staying connected. But what about those who don't have access to the internet? It's just like being in the wilderness. It's like being stuck in the middle of nowhere. You know, um, you can't be part of humanity. Darcy Nape lives in an SRO on the downtown east side and currently does not own a phone. I think the cheapest plan you can get with data is $25 from Chatter. And once your data is gone, basically, if you watch a movie or it's gone the first day. Vancouver City Councillor Christine Boyle is set to introduce a motion to bring free public Wi-Fi to the downtown east side and surrounding neighbourhoods so the city's most vulnerable can stay connected to important resources. Whether it's uh, telehealth or the nurses uh, hotline or other important health services uh, as well as social supports, you know, for somebody who's been socially isolated or displaced from a former home, having that internet access helps connect to family. There are currently over 500 free Wi-Fi spots throughout the city of Vancouver. You may have seen it at your public library or inside city buildings with the network name hashtag Van Wi-Fi. But here on the downtown east side, connection is still lacking. People living in poverty are not able to uh, get the services they needed because they don't have access to internet. So it really increases the poverty divide for people. If they don't have internet, um, they can apply for jobs, they can apply for BC housing. The cold weather shelters advertise online. People didn't know where they were. If I had internet, free internet, then I probably could find a, a reasonable place. Um, but since I don't, I can't. Councillor Boyle says access to free Wi-Fi not only benefits those living in poverty, but the rest of the city as well. Business improvement associations and small businesses also recognize that there's benefit for tourism and for visitors coming in out of town who are looking up a place to eat or trying to get in touch with someone. If the motion passes Wednesday, staff will be directed to report back before the end of this year with a timeline and budget plan. In Vancouver, Cecilia Hua. City News.